Oh, uh, I'm looking at uh, Ubuntu version 12.04 beta 2. It's a long-term support release. Um, and I have this installed on, uh, not in a virtual machine, but on the hard drive. And uh, I know you've probably, you've probably seen a lot of videos describing the new uh, Unity, the dash, the dashboard and stuff. Uh, here's some some things that I found that were uh, actually kind of neat changes. Um, first of all, it's been noted that uh, you can boot into the, the uh, classic, oops, that's going to happen once in a while. You can boot into the classic uh, GNOME, uh, apparently, anyway, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, if you're wondering on this, on here, this is not the default um, setup when you install. Um, I installed uh, 1204 uh, on its own and then I imported my uh, home folder. It's a little tricky to explain, so anyway, don't worry about it. The neat things are, um, as you've probably seen some of this, is when you right click on your home folder, you now have uh, access to your uh, various folders inside there. Uh, one thing I noticed is when you install a program, most of the time is it will put it in the dash. So look at the uh, package manager here, or I mean software center, sorry. Uh, let's find one that's, I don't know how big Audacity is. 9.3, well, we'll see. Install. And yeah, you see if you notice down here, it used to say include in launcher or not now or whatever, but it just has the reviews. So right now it's installing, so I'll just uh, minimize that. Sorry. And if you notice here, waiting to install. So it's going to add an icon here for Audacity. You can unlock. That means just remove it from the launcher or launch it when it's done. Uh, another thing I found. I don't know why it's in here. I mean, I don't know why this was set up like this, but the GNOME login sound was unchecked like that for some reason. And yes, the startup applications is limited. Uh, there is a tweak somewhere to get more, but uh, I wouldn't mess around with that too much. Another thing is uh, I found quite uh, neat that kind of released along with this is my unity now personally I'd be careful with that icon because that looks a lot like McDonald's doesn't it anyway my unity okay this is how I change the color and you can use the dropper here and I just chose something close on the desktop and chose okay and I just just whatever you want I just edge icon only edge and the panel, the top panel, this portion up here, I made it 100% transparent. You can transparency maximize toggle, which is neat. Desktop is a new thing I found is uh, activate show desktop icon. I switched that on and that's right here. So if I do this, it's just the desktop. If I do this, it brings back whatever windows I have open, okay? And there we go. Okay, so Audacity is installed. And see, it's got an, a launcher automatic, automatically added. I think that's a good thing, you know, because you'd be searching around for where'd that program go. You have to go to Dash Home and look for it. So I think that's kind of neat. Um, easy enough to unlock, like I said. Uh, the workspace switcher works the same. Um, oh, yes, I have to show that. S. Win key yes, and yes, as you saw, if you hold down the win key or super, it gives you a keyboard shortcut um, listing, which is really handy. And the H, this one here, uh, heads up display and menu bar is Alt if you tap it. If you press Alt, reveals, reveals application, Alt F10 indicator menu. And cursor left, okay, so you can go through those. So, so, Alt, 
I don't know what the press alt is, but uh, and what was the other one? Alt F10. Okay, so that's just this before. Can't you just do that with uh, just F10? No, you can't. F10 shows the desktop uh, context menu. So Alt F10, kind of a quick way. You can go to this side, left arrow. And you can lock, shut down, suspend, etc. Software up there has been updated. System settings, which is a little more uh, stuff added in. My Unity's in there. Ubuntu One, Ubuntu One, whatever. Additional drivers, yeah, usual stuff. Privacy, uh huh. Delete history f all. Yes, I. I'm not sure of that. No. Nope. Files. Do not record the activity of the following files: applications, diagnostics, whatever. Okay. Uh, another neat uh, utility that's been installed with Ubuntu is X Diagnose. I like this. Oh boy. Uh, such as beta. Okay, so um, if you have errors, supposedly they would show up here. Um, and this is neat. This is really handy instead of having to get download an extra grub manager or whatever. Is display boot messages. So if I hover over this, remove if I ch uncheck this, it removes the splash and quiet from the kernel option so you can see details during the boot. That's great. Enable automatic crush bug reporting. And this is also disable bootloader graphics. Checking forces grub to use text only mode. That can be very handy. And yeah, so and memory as well. So the vid the video options here are great, and the no splash is great. Like it's so simple to use. So I'll close that. And another thing, um, like as I said, I I customize this sidebar. Um, is I noticed this is in the Ubuntu 11.10. If I start typing restart, there's a restart button here, so I added it to the dash. If I start typing log out, that's there. And you can also, if you want to add shut, oops, I can spell right, that'd be nice, eh? Shut down. And you could add, you could just drag here, I'll just drag it here for now. So you have uh, restart, log out, shut down. I separated these so I don't accidentally click one that I don't want. So yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that's everything because like there's uh, so many videos already up on uh, this, and maybe I'll look at the uh, GNOME Classic and see if that's any better. I haven't installed Compiz, although the Compiz effects or settings that I that I had did go over like zoom, like the zoom the desktop. And I didn't really use any animation effects yet or anything other than the default ones. So yeah, so just to kind of a look at some of the newer things that I found that I thought were uh, improvements and uh, helps you along with using the navigating the desktop. And unfortunately, yes, this is not movable yet. <laughs> <laughs> if you only can move it somewhere, but whatever, it's uh, it's coming along. It looks nice. Uh, I can't wait for the uh, final release on whatever April twenty something. So okay, thank you. Oops, sorry. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later. Eh? Bye for now.